All right, I did an analysis of the past exams, paper two, section B questions, just the ones that are seven to eight marks from May, 2019 to November, 2024. Okay, this doesn't include 2020, of course, because of COVID. So first up for HL seven to eight mark questions, I found these 27 categories. Now, the ones that occurred multiple times, I listed in order at the top. Note here, these top six topics showed up multiple times as seven to eight mark questions. Now, these, does that mean you don't need to study them as much? No, you could even argue that the fact they've only shown up once in the last six years means there's a higher chance that they're gonna show up this year. Now, does that mean Osmo regulation? Should you study it, shouldn't you? It's hard to say. Although I will say a note here that of the first six, note that this showed up just last year in 2024, as did this one, this one, this one, and this showed up in November, 2024. So of these popular repeating topics, okay, we're seeing through five out of the six show up just last year and then one the year before that. So there's argument that you should really study these hard or there's an argument, okay, that maybe something new is gonna show up. Okay, now, regardless, it's gonna be useful for you to know this, even if it doesn't show up as a seven to eight mark question, it's likely that all this content is gonna show up either multiple choice or some type of short answer question, but this kind of breaks down uh, some of the important big concepts that you should be able to discuss in detail. So for the first six, I went ahead and I've got these broken down for you with an actual mark scheme of one that was a good representative uh, representation of that topic. So first up, for that very first one, looking at Osmo regulation, okay, you might want to pause here, read through and memorize this mark scheme of everything that IB said was important about Osmo regulation. Note they're not just talking about what's happening in the kidney with Osmo regulation, but also the insulin and glucagon uh, dual hormone uh, responses to uh, blood glucose. So make sure you can address both of those things. Number two, okay, talk about how natural selection can lead to speciation. Any type of natural selection question is always going to have this mark that random mutation is a source of variation. So as long as you memorize that, you know you're gonna get one mark for sure, okay? But you should also know all of these other things. Make sure you can walk by. This is gonna show up and it's shown up multiple times. Okay, sometimes you're asked to do this in context. Okay, I've seen it in terms of um, looking at antibiotic resistance and bacteria, okay? And, but oftentimes you'll just say it straight out like it's written here. So make sure you can say everything on this one. Okay, next, number three, explain the production of antibodies in humans. You should be able to discuss the specific immune response, what's happening with T cells and B cells, memory cells, okay? This whole process, you need to have that down because this is, again, shown up multiple times as a seven to eight mark question. Okay, now number four with photosynthesis, I've broken this down. Okay, here's an example question about the role of hydrogen ions used in photosynthesis. Okay, and then I'm also gonna show you, and you can just pause this to like read through and try to memorize that as a review. Um, here is a focus on the light independent reactions, the Calvin cycle, and what's occurring at each step there. Okay, next up, explain how a newly discovered plant species would be classified and named. Okay, this has shown up multiple times. There seemed to have been a little bit more of a focus on this in the old curriculum. So this isn't the one I'd spend a lot of time on. Um, note that there's even some specific content here that is definitely cut out of the new curriculum. Uh, but of course, you still need to know how to look at like your different taxa and you know what's a clade. And I mean, there's still a lot of really relevant content here. So it is a good idea to be able to uh, come up with all of this information. Okay, and then I also split this last one up. Okay, this one has named hormones in both males and females. Okay, and then this question was focused on female hormones and differentiated between uh, preparing the woman's body for pregnancy, so basically the menstrual cycle, sustaining pregnancy, and then childbirth. 
Now let's take a look at how that worked out for the SL the last six years. Note the emphasis on natural selection and speciation. Okay, seven different times this has shown up. So it's going to be, I think, pretty key that you can answer this question and get all seven to eight marks of a natural selection question. Okay, but again, I'm going to run through the first six and give you an example mark scheme to pause and memorize. Okay, but that also means you should be able to do all of these ones as well. Okay, any of these could potentially show up. Okay, and not just in a seven to eight mark question, but guarantee there's going to be questions about action potentials and translation, right? So um, gas exchange in the alveoli. There's going to be these questions in other places as well. So learn them here. Okay, here are the uh, mark schemes for the first six. So first up, here's another one for natural selection. Okay, again, this is always a mark. Variation arises randomly due to mutation. You know that one's going to be there 100% of the time. Okay, then again, production of antibodies. You should be able to talk about this specific immune system as well. Okay, and it's a good idea also for SL students to go back and read through the specific immune response uh, mark scheme above for HL students. Uh, everything that you need to know now about B and T cells, make sure you have that down. Okay, um, this is an example of number two. Okay, because you might also be asked one that's a little bit more general. This one was asked how cells and cell components in the blood defend the body against infectious disease. And so it wasn't limited to the specific immune response. In fact, you could only get three out of those seven marks by talking about uh, the specific immune response. And fairly generally, you also right, could have talked about your innate immune response, your general uh, non-specific immune response. And then also the whole blood clotting uh, cascade you can discuss. And so you needed to test, discuss all three of those things in order to get that seven marks uh, in that particular question. Okay, number three, discuss the control of blood glucose levels. Remember, common language, we call them blood sugar levels, but in science, we call it blood glucose. Don't call it blood sugar or you're not going to get the mark. Okay, blood glucose levels. Okay, and so again, this is that insulin glucagon, um, super, super important, like classic example of negative feedback that you need to be super familiar with. So read through that carefully. Okay, and in this case, you also need to discuss the consequences if blood glucose levels aren't maintained. Okay, note you could only get six out of these eight marks if you didn't answer what the consequences were. So make sure you read the question carefully and answer everything you're being asked for. Number four, a photosynthesis question. This is a good example. Okay, read through this. Make sure you know all of these different points about photosynthesis. Number five, meiosis. Okay, make sure you can discuss all of the different important parts about meiosis. Make sure you can contrast, okay, meiosis and mitosis. So remember, if you see something that says distinguish, you need to be able to list out differences. Okay, it's okay to put it in a table form. Make sure that every row of the table are two specific things that you are distinguishing between. Okay, and then lastly, I've got two for... Um, 6A, which is basically talking about human activities, how they've caused average surface air temperatures on Earth to increase. And then the last one is just another version of the same concept, uh, but specifically focusing on the oceans. So go ahead and read through that. Okay, I would recommend, again, going back, pausing now, reading through all of these, make sure you know them well. Okay, and then if uh, you have time to go through some of the other ones uh, that were not in the top six because anything is fair game out there.